Okay, so in this video, we want to uh, write the integral that represents the surface area of rotating this uh, function about the x and y axis um, between 0 and pi over 3. So x axis rotating about this and rotating about the y axis. So let's do the x axis first. Okay, so this function is being rotated about the x axis like that. And uh, it's between 0 and pi over 3. And we want to, so if this function is tangent x, it's between 0 and pi over 3. And we're rotating it about the x axis, right? And we want to find the surface area of that rotation, of the uh, figure that is generated by the rotation. So for the x axis, we have a formula. We're looking at the integration 2 pi y ds. Now, ds is equal to two things, right? It can be equal to two things. It can be square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared, or it can be ds is equal to root 1 plus g prime of y squared. And then this is dy, of course, and this is dx. Here we have a function that is in terms of f of x equals y. So f of x equals um, tangent x. So we would prefer to use this right here. So ds is going to be equal to integral 1 plus, what is f prime of x? Well, if y is equal to tangent x, d, dy dx, or y prime, is equal to, uh, secant squared x, okay? So this is just going to be secant squared x, but then we square it, dx. So this is just equal to ds is equal to root 1 plus secant to the fourth x dx. Okay, so this is equal to, so integral 2 pi, why we want everything in terms of x so we'll just write this as tangent x right 2 pi times times tangent x times then ds we have all of this business for ds so that's the integral 1 plus secant secant to the fourth x dx okay and we of course need to specify the bounds of integration we are in the x world so this is from 0 to pi over 3. And this is this is our surface area. This wasn't too complicated. Um, and I'm not going to integrate this because we are only asked to write the formula or the, the integral that represents the surface area, not to evaluate it. So it's fine. Anyway, if you wanted to evaluate it, though, you can. Um, this would probably, so looking at this right now, uh, if I set u equal to um, tangent x, then du is equal to secant squared x dx. That doesn't work. If we set u equal to secant x, that would be secant x tangent x, which also doesn't work. So I think this would be a problem that involves trigonometric uh, substitution. And that would probably be uh, good for this problem. Okay. And let me erase all of this stuff here. Um, hopefully you have the formula down. Um, if not, I will be applying it for the next one. So now let's look at the next one. This is the y-axis. So we did the x-axis. This is the integral. And I should specify this is from a to b. 2 pi y ds. So y was this. a to b 0 pi over 3. ds was this business. And we are done. But x-axis, we y-axis, we have a different formula. We're looking at the integral. And then 2 pi x ds. So but in this case, right, let's do let's look at what ds would be in this case, right? There's again two two options for us. We can look at the integral of one plus f prime of x squared dx, or ds is equal to the integral one plus g prime of y squared squared d y. So again, our function is a form that is 
in um, f prime of x. So we would prefer using it using this form, right? Because we, we don't have g prime of y. We could rewrite it like that, but it's preferably something that we would write in this way. So if we, if we were to use this formula here, then this would just be equal to ds is equal to the same exact thing we had above, 1 plus secant to the fourth x dx. But here we have x instead of y. So what, would we, what, what do we do there? Well, if we want, if we want to express this in terms of in terms of just x, we could just leave it like this because if we were to rewrite this, right, x is equal to inverse tangent of y, something like this, then if we were to replace this x with inverse tangent of y, we wouldn't be in the x world anymore. So this is the best x for us to, to be in. Okay, so that's that. So we just leave our x just like that. And so, and so if we look at this, let me move this down. This would simply be equal to, so 2 integral 2 pi x times um, the square root of 1 plus secant to the fourth x dx. We're all in the x world. And guess what? We still have to integrate from 0 to pi over 3. And this is it. Okay, I, I hope you found this video helpful.